See here, as I step, I'm scooping his hips up. So get right up underneath here, and okay, so we're working off the underhook, digging in on the body work. And if you're gonna be effective with the body work, you're gonna to need to develop a good back arch. Okay, it's not a sort of thing that you wanna just jump into. So we're gonna do some warm-up drills for when you start drilling. And it also functions just to, just to create the strength that you're gonna to need to keep yourself in the right position so you don't end up pulling the guy on top of you and making a disaster. Okay, first up, we're just gonna do a little wall walking. Okay, not wall walking in the sense of standing up on the wall, your wall walk is a resting drill. So here, I just want you to post back, put your hands on the wall, and start walking on down. So you don't need to go all the way down at first, you know, just treat it as a warm up. But just go as far as you feel good, and then walk back up. So walk up, setting yourself back up the upright. Okay, once your back starts loosening up, you can bring your feet in a little bit closer to the wall. So it's just gonna build that strength to keep your hips up. all the way down now, touching your head on the wall, and there, two hands popping up. That's it, pop up on two hands from your crease, George. That's it, pop. Okay, so these guys have been doing this for a long time. Don't expect it to be that easy straight away if you've never done, if you've never done bridging and back archery before. Just take it, take it nice and easy. So, next one, partner drill. Can you guys grab hands with a predator handshake? too many pencils okay so Harry you go first please yeah pop in and there Harry's got to keep his hips up George can be able to pull him back up pop in okay not bad when you give me a little hip pop here so you start out pop your hips in as you go for that back arch you yeah, just gotta keep those hips up or you won't return. Good job. You gotta really trust your partner here. You might wanna start off posting the hand and make sure you're safe. Obviously, these guys know each other and they trust each other. Let's go. One for one. Pop. Pull back up. Pop. And pull back up. So you can add some speed to this and start making it in a conditioning tool. those hips drop down you're not going to be able to get back up and that represents the time when that throw is going to end in disaster and pull the guy on top of you. Good job. Okay, how do you feel? Nice and warm? Loose in the back? Okay, let's get back in on that body lock. Okay, here we go. I want you to establish that outside foot position off of the body lock. Okay, what's going on with the body lock? Yeah, he needs to squeeze. Okay, I want you to use that forearm here to crush Harry's rib cage. Let's get right in on that floating rib. You see what happens there when you squeeze the air out of him? Look at Harry's feet. Okay, give a relaxed body work. Yeah, look Harry's base. He's going to start moving. He's going to start creating his escapes. Okay, give me that good squeeze. Okay, there straight away. Harry comes up a little bit higher and a little bit lighter. Now get your hips in right underneath him. Yeah. Okay, now here, this is where the back arch throw is going to come from. Let's have it. Okay, that's not bad. You can give yourself a little bit more space to get in between them, so you're gonna take that step around again, like we did off the, off of the twist. That's it, squeeze it, hip and in, getting hips to hips. That's it, step around. That's not bad, I want you to move this foot in this way, George. Okay, so we're in here. There, so I'm beating the wizard, got underneath it here, squeezing that rib cage there. Look, that's making him come up onto his toes a little bit here. Get in hip to hip, so I'm crowding the hip. Now here, what I want is the space. So I want you to take this step here. You ready to take a fall, George? Yep. See here, as I step, I'm scooping his hips up. So get right up underneath here, and nice hard throw. And we're back into that same finish position with that near underhook here. So when you go to build up, there, I've captured it one more time. Let's see you guys. Let's see you do it, Harry, because you're really going to need to get the technique perfect to lift the bigger man. That's it. Good squeeze. I want you to change that grip around, please. Change that grip so that the sharp blade of your forearm is digging right in underneath here. This way, right this way here, so that this arm, the one that's coming behind, 
is digging in sharp here. And that's gonna come in here. George, can you try to pull that elbow out? See there, when that palm is up, the elbow is in, it's chambered. Yeah, can you pull it out? Real hard work, switch around the other way. Yeah, okay, give it a pull. Okay, it's possible. Of course, Harry's not resisting that, you know, but it's, it's difficult, but it's, but it's possible. This way, no chance, he's not gonna be able to do it. Get in, crowd those hips, when you get a little bit deeper for me, Harry. Okay, now step around. When Harry executes the throw, he's put himself in between George and the fence. So if George is a specialist in escape and upwards using the fence, it's taking that option away. One more time, please, guys. I'm going to finish off with a little bit of ground and pound straight away. As soon as he hits the mat, you're putting him into the pressure cooker. Yeah, capture the cuff if you can. That's it. Start working him over immediately. 